Hi, in this video, I'm going to be reading an email that I received from a viewer and doing my best to answer it. As always, if you have any advice for this person, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Remember, people read the comments, and so every time you leave a constructive comment, it really helps other people. Okay, let's open up the email. And the person's name is Piyush, and the subject is blank. <laughs> and the message reads, Hello, sir. I am from India. I love mathematics. Sometimes I stuck in problems where creativity is required. When I try to solve such problem, I don't know what new thing I need to create. How can I increase mathematical creativity? That is a very good question. This is a really good question because this is something that I feel like I can give a decent answer to. Maybe not the best answer, but a decent one. So in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, mathematical creativity is a product of experience. Right? And experience in mathematics takes practice and time. So you have to practice a lot of math and you also need time to absorb it. And the creativity comes into play because you start learning techniques. You start seeing reoccurring ideas and themes. And that's what helps build creativity. Also, something that can help you right away, because I know my answer doesn't really help you right away, is whenever you're trying to solve problems from, say, a textbook, try to think about what's being discussed in that section. So like if you have a question that's asking you to prove something, go back in that section and make sure you know what the question is asking. Right? What, what, what are the definitions of the things that are in play in your question? For example, if it's a question on continuity, what does it mean for a function to be continuous? If you have to show a function is differentiable, what does it mean for a function to be differentiable? So make sure you know those definitions cold. Then you want to look at the theorems in that section. Can you apply any of the theorems in that section to what you're trying to do? And if you still can't see it, look in the proofs of the theorems and in the examples in that section. What techniques are being used there that you can apply to the specific problem that you're trying to solve? And what's going to happen is you're going to get better at solving the problems in your textbook if you follow this path. And creativity basically is using those techniques that you've learned in the past in your problem that you're trying to approach. So hopefully my answer is decent. <laughs> if anyone else has advice for this person on mathematical creativity, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Good luck.